Cancer. Happy, 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 happy August 2019. Let's get your cards rolling in. Don't forget to book your own personal reading. Follow me on Instagram and on Facebook as well. All right. All right. So now, okay, so our first one is the Queen of Wands popping up again. If you're on the cusp of Gemini and Cancer, that Queen of Wands is really talking to you. And I shuffle these cards like crazy. So it's really talking to you for, for this month of August. All right. What can you learn from the Queen of Wands? You can learn to be strong within yourself and to find your fire as a water sign and find that drive and keep that drive going to help you throughout this month to really get your goals accomplished and to, to see where you need to go. Okay. Really believing in yourself is very powerful. All right. This queen of one is very motivating and how can you motivate yourself? And now to pull the next card, what else can we learn from the Queen of Wands? What other message can we learn? Okay. For some of you, you might need to gain your confidence, build your confidence back, maybe applying for new work or to add more to what you know for your work so that you feel more valuable. You know you're more valuable. Um, maybe finding that recognition. Um, in work or just validation for yourself or learning something new for yourself. Maybe this will help you to uh, get a new career if that's what you want to or move up or just to maintain the work and where you are right now. Okay. What else can we learn from this nine in flowing with this nine of, of cups? Because some of you, you might relate to all this reading or just some cards okay so the sun card a major arcana okay we can learn from this sun card about finding our energy and our vibrance our vitality um finding our greatness and redefining our greatness for ourselves okay um we can learn how to really find our way back to our enlightenment okay maybe not feeling as as great as we should maybe hitting ups and hitting downs but really finding ourselves again and really a need to focus on ourselves because we're not focusing ourselves maybe we're maybe um doing something to please others and that can be good and bad but mostly bad so we want to really know that we're doing something for ourselves okay what else can we learn and how can we move forward in this? So we have the four of stays or four of ones. And when the four of ones come in, we want to celebrate. It's about the home. It's about marriage. It's about feeling safe at home or outside your walls. So it's really welcoming uh, things that will make you feel safe and make you feel like, hey, you know, I can do this or this is where I I belong. Okay. So connecting to that, where else can we go from here? We can go into 10 of cups. So for some of you is building on a family, maybe welcoming a new birth or, or, um, welcoming a new addition to a family, not so much a, a birth, but a new person or a, la a lost, a uh, loved one or a lost relative. Okay. Um, it could be growing in your business or even moving to committing to another business as well. Okay. That 10 of cups is joyous and it, it, it can bring us back to that number one in numerology as well. Okay. So it's really finding happiness and alignment again. Okay. And it's, it's actually surround it's I feel like since that's that sun is in reverse you're actually going to have to get rid of people who are not inspiring to you and having a new circle of people that appreciate your talent and what you can do what else can we learn from ten of cups okay so we can learn that the page of wands now is taking another turn okay so with the page of wands it's time to rediscover yourself, 
rediscover where you want to go. Not having the direction, but rediscovering that and really connecting to new um, inspiration. Okay, feeling inspired again. All right. So what else can we learn from this? What? How can we move forward? What else do we need to know? Okay, so this is where that money will come in. So for some of you, it's really a big shift in change of work or, you know, something that you have to change up for your joy or also for money. So it's the changing it up to really bring in more happiness into your life, maybe more fulfillment. I really feel it's more fulfillment. Okay, I feel like it's a fulfillment reading. Okay, it's, it's really to get fulfilled and that's what we all want to do, but it's receiving money and using it wisely. If you already blew away your tax return already, maybe there's other money coming in, especially if you have um, Scorpio somewhere strong in your chart, you're definitely using your money wisely. And if you have Aries somewhere, Cancer strong in your chart, you can really benefit from that, okay? what else can we learn? We can learn to move away from bad situations. Maybe people that um, use words in a negative way, maybe redoing that relationship or um, really getting a different handle on things for yourself in regards to that relationship. For some of you, it's moving physically from a bad situation into a better situation or some kind of shift and move. Okay. And you'll have the money to do so. What else can we learn? Okay, a king of wands. So someone is going to come into our life or we're moving toward that person. If you're single, you're moving towards a person that is very powerful in their creativity. They can make things happen. They're growing themselves. Um, usually I don't recommend growing with a person, but um, making sure that um, they have a handle on what they're doing. And if, you know, it's just someone that's going to be very inspirational to you. Okay. Um, and this person is going to really inspire you king mode. Okay. They're going to be very inspirational to you. And this person is going to have vision, so much vision for themselves that you're going to be around that energy to have vision for yourself as well. Okay. And you can learn kind of like the hermit from this person. Okay. And really take it to mold it into what works best for you. And you don't even have to, for some of you, it's physically knowing this person. For others, it's just um, seeing something or watching something that inspires you to dig deeper. And what else can we learn is temperance. We can learn patience, balance, and timing. And realize that everything serves its time and its purpose. And when you need to cut something off or end something, definitely do that so you can move forward and give yourself a healthier you, a more balanced you as well. Okay, one more card. How can we wrap this up? Because the temperance helped us wrap it up too. But, okay, balance. Finding that two of pentacles is going to help you to be balanced within yourself. So whatever new chaos is coming up, you can actually handle it. You can handle yourself. You can handle what is coming up. Okay, and this is a good card because it's, it's not that you're ignoring what's going on, but you're so focused that you're not worried about, you know, what other people are saying or what someone else is doing. Let's look at this now. Okay, what can we learn from the playing cards? Another earth energy coming in and the seven of diamonds is um, asking you to be careful, okay? And be careful with how you invest your money and your financial problems that may be coming up. So... You have a lot of, um, you have a, a good, a good amount. Let me see. You have two pentacles in there, right? So it's, it's more of a reading of your, your, it's a pretty balanced. It's more fire, more encouragement. You have a lot of staves in there. So a lot of fire for encouragement, a lot of fire for motivation and really leading yourself on a path to where you want to go to where you want to be. Okay. So not forgetting to 
really put yourself on that path, okay, of where you need to go, where you need to be. All right. So I'm I'm uh, multitasking for for the Instagram. <laughs> so it's really putting yourself where you want to go, where you want to be. Okay, and grounding yourself as a water sign, you naturally will gravitate to earth signs, right? And you can learn a lot from them. But this is really reminding you to be so focused on what you're doing so that you can actually achieve it. And you're not worried about anything that is really out of your control. It's really a strong reminder of, of telling you to stay focused on what it is that you're doing and what it is that you're trying to um, accomplish. Okay. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, happy August. And I will see you next time.